hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Orcs of Gundabad campaign with me, Suzevile. So in our last episode we conquered Ruskivin, and now let's make a small pause while I merge these units and wait for some reinforcements that shall come from Karndum and Gundabad. Gundabad and Karndum can produce almost every type of unit, not almost every type of unit, so that's what we are going to uh, wait for. In the meantime, we have this big orc army who can still recruit quite a lot of stuff. I'm going to recruit probably some Rudar Axemen and Rudar Heavy Axemen because they seem to be quite good. And that would fulfill our forces against uh, Kameth Bryn, which should, uh, should, should surrender <laughs> should surrender on the next turn. So let's do that. End the turn. In the meantime, we do know that the dwarves are expanding towards us, so that can provide uh, some difficulties. We do see the free peoples of Ari there being quite passive, quite passive as well. And I have to build up uh, a spy somewhere, just because I want one or two spies in each direction, and this is quite a spread out map. This looks like uh, the, the plains of Russia, actually. Or the, the modern plains of Russia. Okay, let's occupy Kameth Brin without a fight. That was good. He's requesting me to take the rebel settlement here. Well, that can be achieved. I can see everything due to this watchtower here. That's good. And I could use the money because I'm getting, the, we're getting troubles in that regard. Hunting hut, mustering hall, hunting hut. Let me see. I need some good stuff that will provide us with money. Hunting lodge. Orcs of Gundabad is doing that. Okay, hunting lodge, food production. Let me see one thing. Population. Okay, Karndum. Litash. Chemist Brin, Morvatars. Uh, what should I do? Is it worth it to build those? I'm never sure, actually. Well, let's keep building over here. Hunting Lodge. I need. I want the city to grow. Yep. That's gonna be it. Over here at Ruskivine, I gotta keep up my army there. And let's make sure no one attacks us, so. Gotta move this guy over there. This is a wooden castle. Yeah. So I want to keep this spire here uh, in case someone attacks us. Come with Brin. Let's select everyone but one unit of Snaga Stalkers. And possibly move out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that will be okay. I'm not gonna recruit the mercenaries as of yet because I have no money. And it's time to end turn. Orcs of Gundabad is actually quite slower uh, beginning than Dale was. Yeah, I can already tell. I'm ending the turn much more times, or more times, and I can't. I don't seem to have the ability to focus just on one army because everything is so spread out. While on Dale, it was always to the south. You know, just to the south it was enough. But oh well. I also don't have a lot of big cities around. Just small castles. And that doesn't make it good for our uh, income, actually. End of turn. We're earning a little bit more money due to this market, I believe. Butchery builds up a spy. Yeah, I know that I want to do that. But I wonder if now it's the time. I think now it's the time, actually. And what else? Orcs of the Mr. Mountain is at war with free peoples of Arian. By the war, by the way, we are at war with the dwarves. Only, only the dwarves. That's good. That that is actually quite good. Okay, so we can build up some stuff. Let me see where Orcs of Gundabad. No, the Gundabad place is building up. Angsul as well. Pitakanta cannot build. Ruskivin can build a hunting hut. That's what I'm going to do. And where is that settlement? 
here. Nice. Oh, we're gonna have a fight on the next turn, probably. Yeah, I can't recruit anything else. Let's keep going and checking if I find any dwarven lands. I think this is already a dwarf land. So I must be ready to recruit a few mercenaries, which I can't over here. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, ending the turn. Uh, excuse me for a minute. A minute. Sorry about that, guys. I had to sneeze and blow my nose and all that stuff that shouldn't be on the record, you know? You just notice those things that usually people do when you record them. Because usually I'm not troubled, you know, in front of some people, but when you're recording, r recording, recording, haha. <laughs> today is not today to speak English. Uh, when you're recording, it's actually quite bad if you do so, so, such things. Okay, Warg Breeders. Yeah, I think so. Or the Mustering Hall. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The Boyer, Shrine of Melkor. I think the Warg Breeder. Just because... Just because... Well... Actually, no. Let's go with the... I wanted the Warg Breeder because the, their type of unit is is quite um, quite effective against most infantry types. But I'm going to go with Mustering Hall just because I want extra money to recruit a few mercenaries. Mordor is at war with Rohan. And now we can actually recruit Ruder Heavy X-Men. Let's recruit the heavy ones first. That's it. And let's attack that assault. It has no walls, so... Oh, it's Captain Frodo. Oh, poor Captain Frodo. We do have hunters who are quite weak in everything. And peasant spearmen. So it should be a nice test to our militia type units. I don't want to use... I certainly don't want to use any... Um, how to say any any specialized units like the trolls or such in these small battles I don't want to lose one unit of trolls or just one troll to a simple um, a simple attack so I'm gonna stay back with the the heavy units go snogger Snogger, Snogger. I really like that one. Uh, where should I go? Where should I go? I'm going to go through this side with these guys. And the Goblin Bands are going to go on the other side. Wow. How, these, how do they talk? Let me see. Spears. Spears. That's awesome. That's awesome. They look more frightened, uh, frighteningly than they are actually are. Yes, Naga archers. These Ruler Axemen, they have javelins, right? Yeah, they seem so. Stay alert. Oh, and they're quite disciplined because of their formation. You can clearly see that. Okay, let let me show you the wargs. They're so cute. Look, so fluffy. Yeah, and the trolls. Where are the mountain trolls? Yeah, mountain trolls. Here you are. You're so vulnerable to ballistas, but I used to kill a lot of them in my tail campaign. So, Ruth are a heavy X-Men. All of these units are actually going to stay back. Including these orc fellers. I don't want their influence there. So no need for that. Yeah, just going to start a battle and use these snag archers or these snag archers to pepper them. 
Actually, the Snaga Archers, they're gonna go here if they can. Can you? Yeah, you can. That's where you're gonna go. That's it. That's where you're gonna go. And the Orc Goblin Bands are gonna be here. Can you? Come on, go. Ah, uh, I hate this deployment phase on the 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 cities. Let's just click move. Faster movement. Come on. I know they have a lot of hunters, so that shouldn't be a problem. You gentlemen, you're gonna run on the other side. You're gonna go around it here. That's it. Okay, everyone is getting in. It's not that I shouldn't be using the other units, you know, like the trolls or such, but I really don't want to lose any units to to simple stuff. Go! Go, gentlemen! You sirs are gonna attack these hunters. You're gonna attack these ones, and that's gonna be it. Snaga archers! Peasant spearmen, hunters... Run in. Okay, goblin bands. Yeah, take those hunters. These hunters are also getting killed. Didn't I told you to attack? Come on, attack you gentlemen. Now I'm calling them gentlemen. On the first episode I was saying they were filthy orcs. But now I'm calling them gentlemen. Okay. Let's make my famous strategy of rushing in with the units just so they can squeeze through their units and cause a mass rout like they're doing good. Now kill those guys. Come on, archers. Good, they're trying to move in, so... Yeah, no victory would be ours. Of course victory would be ours. Let's move in, gentlemen. Come on. Move in. Go. Go closer. Move in. Come on, archer or snaggers. That's it, move over here. You gentlemen move over there. You attack these hunters. Come on. Move over. Archers, can't you shoot actually? You should be able to shoot these peasant spearmen at least. Good. Hunters are being hunted. More hunters dying, dying. Let me show you. Complete surround. My archers. Can they shoot over this? Yeah, they can. Look at those arrows. That's nice. They can still hit a few of them. Ah. Uh, once these two units manage to hit their uh, rear then everything will be fine. I'm not actually losing it. almost anything in terms of my fools. That's good. And as long as it's Snaga Stalkers and Goblin Bands, I'm not worried. You know, Goblin Bands, they're good spearmen. Snagas are good light infantry. They are good light infantry. Uh, you, I gotta say so. You know, especially numerous. That's one thing that I'm noticing quite well. Come on, Snaggers. You can move a bit closer. Come on, move past them. And now attack. That's it. And you, you're clear. Good. 
Take those peasant spearmen from behind, gentlemen. That's it. Okay, let's stop our fire. Come on. Okay, let's tell them to move to the other side so they can actually engage in full strength. Come on. Faster. That's it. We caught their own. Oh, look at those. Okay, let's check the animations actually. Good human slaying. Human flesh is going to be good. And there will be plenty for everyone. Did they manage to kill all the hunters? Yes, you did. Yeah, all that it's left is a few hunters and a few peasant spearmen. Let's rush it a little bit. Okay, times two should be enough to, for you guys to watch and for it to go actually faster. Go, go, go! Yep. As you can see, it's always good on medieval to rush in from all sides of the city. Yeah, Captain Frodo was destroyed. I wish it wasn't Frodo Baggins. Or oh, actually, I, I, I'm pretty sure it isn't. Frodo must be just a a normal name over here. 17 left. 15. That guy is really tall. But it's dead. Yeah, this looks like the concepts that I go in. But I'm one of the small guys who can't see with the tall guys in front. And no one else is left. Good, we won. Clear victory, some casualties healed. That's always nice. 38 and 24. So we didn't lose as much as we thought. Oh, Moria. Yeah, I love this scene. When it happened, it was amazing to to see the 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 ruins of Moria. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for the reward. Nokva Ragla. I think it's kind of like Finnish. Some 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 names of the settlements are Finnish or something like that. Good. So, can you build up something? Yeah, you can build a hunting hut. I'm actually building hunting huts because they give food production and that will increase their... Um, yeah. That will re increase their, their food production and with their food production, you know, it builds up, builds up the population growth, which means more money in the, in the overall turn. Yeah, now I should be able to begin gaining a little bit of money so that I can actually build up a good army over to Ruskivin. I don't know if I should be trying to conquer these this rebel settlement right here. All that I do know is that I think the dwarves have taken up... Yeah, they do not have a lot of stuff. And if I could, I would send this army there. That could be an idea. Let me merge my units here. Good. That could be an idea. At least I could send some of my Rudars and War Graders, Riders, since I can actually recruit them over here. Oh, I can recruit one unit of Snag Archers? Then go for it. Go for it. Just don't mis misjudge the Snag Archers. You know, although they are not quite this good, you still need some missile infantry in at this point. So let's end up the turn, see what the dwarves do. And, well, am I glad that they actually turned the, the dwarf crawler into something more... Um, uh, more easy to see on the, the minimap. 
Because it used to be kind of like the Rebels. It was annoying to just watch that color over there. I much rather prefer that uh, slightly uh, bluer color. It's much easier to spot on the map. A candidate, which is quite good, but this kind of this... Well, he's, he's obedient, but uh, speaks of loyalty. Okay, I can take him. Reinforce Peter Kranter. That one? Really? With, with how many units? Four units. And I'll be rewarded with some military units. More snaggers. Well, I gotta take that, actually. War Breeder, Boyer, Garrison Quarters? No. Shrine? No. I'm actually saving up. Well, I could save up, or I could just go and, and build the Gravel Roads. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Rescuing, build nothing. Unit recruitment, some Snaga archers. Okay, the dwarves do not seem to come against me. So I can move all of my units. All of them? How many are? At least four units. Yeah, let's move in four units into Peter Kranta. That's it. In the meantime, what could I do? What could I do? There seems to be some Orcs of the Misty Mountains here. These are the High Elves. They are quite powerful there. So I need to go and check in how are th things over here. So, what should I do? I think there's a Rebel settlement around here. Yeah, probably. Can I build up something? Or this gentleman can just take care of that. Let's see. Yep, no problem with that. Let me do it this... Let me risk it a little bit. What I'm gonna do is move out of this army. Almost all of it. Let me leave one Snaga Archer. Move it over here. Go conquer something around this area and then split up some um, some units into Raskevines and go against the Dwarves. And then I'm just gonna go back into the Nokva. That's it. In the meantime, I can reinforce some units. That'll be good because I'm building up in a lot of places. I only have one spy and I think I cannot produce any spies at all in any place. Let me check. Uh, I think not, right? Yep, I cannot. Am I building the, the stuff that it allows me? Yeah, the butchery allows that. Good, so in one turn I can produce actually another spy, which will be handy over on this side. And that'll be it. That'll be it. So thank you all guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.